Mixed bag of earnings from some blue chips in South Korea. Let's get the uh, take from June in Seoul today. June, what's going on over there? Hi, Barney. We are seeing Hyundai Motors and Posco reacting in very different directions to the earnings that came out after a market close yesterday. Hyundai Motors' third quarter earnings came in below market expectations, but the stock is higher today for the second straight day on news that it is considering raising its dividend by a pretty big measure and is also considering an interim dividend, according to Hyundai Motors President Lee Won Hee. And this is seen to be coming after the stock dropping more than 25 percent after the 10 billion Kepco land deal that was signed on the 18th of last month. So um, this is uh, seemed to be um, moving the stock. Now it is flat, but it was trading up more than 2% at the open this morning. Looking ahead to the fourth uh, quarter, Hyundai sees the fourth quarter to show a big improvement. Analysts are telling me that if the one dollar stays around the levels that we are seeing right now, the fourth quarter will meet uh, earnings expectations in line with the fourth quarter of last year. So uh, this, I guess, is good news. Also, Hyundai is saying that its newer models uh, didn't do too well in the third quarter, but this is expected to change as well, saying that it plans to launch a new, more new models in the fourth quarter with improved fuel efficiency. Also, another name uh, that we are watching is uh, POSCO. Uh, POSCO is trading down more than 2%. Um, its operating profit was up 39%, but net income was down 60%. And uh, again, China is half of the global steel market. So um, this uh, slowing uh, growth in China did affect uh, POSCO's numbers for the third quarter. Bernie, back to you. All right, thanks, Jim. June, our person is sold there. Flying kangaroo, Qantas uh, forecasting.